Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Panzer Core 2. I'm here with the historical path, this time in Lublin. I can't exactly say I have good news, but I suppose at least it's not even more bad news. The investigations into our officers have been completed, and we have been cleared of any involvement in the July plot to assassinate High Command. And now for the actual bad news. The timing of these investigations could not have come at a worse time. Between the need to mobilize our forces for a new deployment and the stoppages created by the investigations, Army Group Center has been decimated. And there's more. I don't have any new orders for us still. And then there's a random person, but I do. Okay. A woman seen in the corner of the room turns away from the device in front of her. Uh, okay. Um... Just some random woman. I suppose not as good at any time as any to mention it. Okay. I have to say that the absolute necessity to include women and in everything is uh, a bit off-putting to me. Like, because it feels very forced and fake. <clears throat> to be honest. Um... Blah, blah, blah. Seems like he slept with her or something. Uh, yeah, okay. Blah, blah, blah. Of course. She's the best woman ever. She's the reward that we... Uh, we have we have been chosen to perform critical operations. That's our reward. It's not as if I've been doing critical operations forever, but okay. okay. Um, yeah, okay. Some messages. Hold all victory axes west of the Vistula River at the end of the battle. Uh, is that all it says? I'm surprised so short. Um... Okay, she's only trained to decode the message. That's not a lot of training, but okay. Um, okay, here we go. My general, I'd only be tasked to defend the Vistula River. We would only be tasked to defend the Vistula River as a last resort. It must mean we face overwhelming odds, or else I'm certain High Command would send us on the attack. That it so often favors. We should move our forces north quickly. And make sure all the Vistula River crossings in the region remain firmly under our control. There is something else too. Um, special... Okay. There is no mention of surviving remnants of the 4th Panzer Army at all. Not their status and not their orders. <clears throat> but I know for a fact their last known position was at Lublin, which is now behind enemy lines. Um, perhaps we're being told to buy us time to deploy our defenses along the Vistula. I truly do not know, and apparently the flow of information is constricted to the point that we will never know. But if we have the strength to rescue those men, my general, we should at least try to save their unit from the advancing Soviets. We have already lost too many good soldiers in the past month. Let us not sacrifice more if we can prevent it. Elite objective, escort at least six 4th Panzer Army units to either Western Evacuation Zone. To victory for Germany. Make known zone of control. Okay. Uh, at least I get to deploy my own units again. I probably have to save them real fast because I think they're going to also die real fast. Given by the way it looks, but uh, these are Polish units. So we're also fighting those again. Uh, all right, well, let's get to deploying. All right, let's uh, let's get started here. Fix up all the units and at least start putting in the units that are always going to be used uh, because of heroes, etc., etc. Um, let's just take a look because there are probably a few things that need to be switched. Maybe. Like Panther G's, isn't that... 
Panther A is cheap. Okay, no right. Uh, this is a Panther A, so let's switch to that to a Panther G. Not super amazing. Uh, it probably also wasn't necessary. But uh, let's see. A lot of these guys should go back there, and I guess we can take it from there. Looking for Rudol. Okay, that puts me at 104 as a base. 109 as a base. Go for Fluck Fearling, but I actually think I probably need a lot of boots on the ground here in order to even get to these guys. And they're probably going to get destroyed pretty quickly. Um, and so given that, I do want to make a uh, bit of a quick progress towards that area. means uh, okay can I I think I still get to upgrade one more unit yeah and I don't think they're Okay, I'll have to take a look at that then. I think I'm gonna skip one of the artillery for the chance of getting the Messerschmitt there too. And I am gonna launch my attack from here, so I'm also gonna put my planes there. Under the presumption that I am going to be able to rescue them, That's just basically, let's get you close to the road. Hmm. I can potentially see an attack coming from here, maybe, but I, I would think they come from these areas and they would get their waves there, up there. Whereas I just need to do that at the end of the battle, there's 70 turns, so I can take them back. It's not a big deal. maybe it's not such a smart idea to have my infantry there they're probably better over here with the tanks up front I'm recording right let's yeah okay there we go uh, oh yeah that's Let's get started here. I'll probably mm, go through a lot of ammo. Mm. 
Depending on the amount of artillery, etc. they have there, things might also be a bit problematic. Um, can you kill them in one go? No, you can't. Not even they can. So... Alright, that gives me a bit of a better look here. Going in here. Going to these guys. Um, I already kind of forgot because it's been a little while since I played this, but the idea here is that um, the less known position was at Lublin, where the remnants of 4th Panzer Army are or something. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, here. There's no mention of surviving remnants of the 4th Panzer Army at all. Not their status, not their orders. So basically, okay, just given up on them. You need to get at least six of their units to the evacuation zone. Alright, so we do have the anti-tank there as well, which is no surprise. can get rid of that that way. Hmm. Interesting they would have so many units there either way. Let's start by taking care of them. Which is the easy part. I also cannot let them stage a breakout, unfortunately. Let's move. Then in there. That is also pretty nice. I do like to take care of the anti-tank units as well. I can kill one dealing with Rudel. Yes, I can. And then there are two things that I can do. I can either make them go here, but I actually think I'll just kill it. Tying that does not give me an overrun, but it will allow me to move a bit further with these. Start there and move them in here. Here, if I can at least make sure that my units are not isolated for the next turn, 
already. That would be a great boon and also allows me to repair these units. So then some of them will die, but then at least I can indeed start uh, to prepare for the breakout here. And I think probably a reasonable way. is to start here and then I need to defeat this artillery and if I do that I can escape Or I can make sure that I'm not uh, encircled for this turn. Now let's take one damage on this Panther G. Or two damage, whatever. Hmm. What? A 32 strength unit. Just randomly... Alright. Okay. I mean, I'll take a damage, I guess. Jeez. That's no fun. Uh, okay. Well, let's kill this. So that they are not isolated. And I guess it will have to suffice at least for this turn. Um, let's stage the retreat, so... It's a real shame they cannot go here. I could get them to abandon the trucks. Probably should, even though these attacks are just not good. They're Osthupen, which are also not particularly powerful. Uh, they're also all supposedly at their max strength. And that's just lovely. Right, as it is, I do want to get infantry into the woods. That's just outright their best location. And... If I have a Yak Panther, maybe at least indeed then I can hold that there through this way. I will have to also hold the city with infantry for the moment. I will certainly
try to get the armor to this side. I actually don't want to make the gap too large. Uh, it's a shame they cannot go in there. I'll try to get you out though. Like this. They might get attacked. I actually think I'm okay somewhat. And... <clears throat> Again, things are a bit tricky. Not all places are equally well defended, and there are some units like this, which I feel like... Yeah, I can put them here, but they just don't have any good position around anywhere. Um, if I had an airfield here, I would get it, but I also can't even get to this airfield, unfortunately. <clears throat> That's nice, getting rid of that artillery. feel like my units will generally be safe in these areas except that I forgot that they can move in there um. Let's do that. Bombing also going to suck, of course. Interesting that. That is rather unfortunate. This is pretty hilarious though. Armored Brigade. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Huh. <clears throat> Alright, I have some action for my Air Force here. can only attack once. Let's kill them. And... I want to deal with the enemy fighters uh, quite badly. Because... That will give me free access to the skies, basically. Um, 
Really? No overrun? Ah, come on. Ay, ay, ay. I cannot miss this golden opportunity here. <clears throat> and I must suddenly want to stay away from the uh Enemy territory here. Um, where is the one that makes them surrender? Crap. No ammo, and then you have stuff like this. These guys are in a sense of no consequence, really. Can kill them. Funny thing is, is if I go in here, they are encircled, and if I get a unit in here, those would be encircled too, which would effectively <coughs> cancel both of them off in a sense. Um, they do not have overrun. But I do think this unit is too powerful to not deal with, given its anti-tank capabilities now. Not too worried about a T-3485. One thing that I can do anyway is do this and then attack it. It should surrender. Can we just get a break here? Thanks. That would be great. Um, yeah, my main problem is that now. First armor brigade is in the way. Which means that I'm I'm almost there, but unfortunately <laughs> not quite. The
enemy is probably not gonna have the strongest of forces down there but basically need to deal with those conscripts They've retreated once again, technically unisolating them for a bit. I can just give them elites. few more units out now. If you attack this, take me back. And I only need six units. So it's not that bad. Um preferably though I will not um Too close. Um, let's go in here and go back because apparently they also have a 33 strength T3485. to maintain an infantry screen on this side. And with the Yak Panther, I'll pull them back. Like that. Um... I thought I could get them down there. Now I can't. Mm. Well, I also need to shuffle this infantry. Very least, and you. Let's move the artillery first, too. Maybe I should have shot, but uh, there aren't that many great positions. Um, Let's make a bit more space because to be quite frank I need to get these out those don't need to be repaired You do, you do too. Mm. You need to move. Shouldn't have put them in that village hex, but...
Okay. It's a pretty large chance I will have to retreat back over here. I don't. Seems to be at least a few less bombers here. Interesting. It's, <laughs> it's pretty frustrating that they uh, do keep encircling them. Since these guys are now coming in hot too, okay. Started and I think I can clear this road pretty f well from here on out. I want to push them there. I actually think they might go here because they don't. Oh, they're just dead. All the better. <clears throat> If I move them, I can't really do anything there. Kill them. suppose I do also want to deal with this this unit I know I need to take down the t 3485 That's all well and fair. Oh, ah, shit. Oof. Okay, because that will <clears throat> solidify the corridor down here, and I know these guys are still going to be very nasty but if i can get the majority of the units through or at least some of them because this is one two really like that so what I'm gonna do here move you here one oh shit two Cannot take the risk. I will attack these. Oop. Oh, 
Alright, let's attack. Putting the panther here means they'll retreat too, but it's mostly about clearing this gap. Did die. I cannot move these, but that is fine. Um, now I need to position my units so that I have most of the units being able to escape. Let's start by. Need to create a protective area there too. So in here, for example, the head serve would be safe. My opponent can now go through here into this gap. Not like this, and my opponent would have, a, or the AI would have a hard time getting through indeed because it would have to move through here. This tank, for example, can just barely get here. It doesn't make it that much greater, but if I can put some infantry here, like you, there's no way these tanks can get there, so, or at least that's what I hope. These bombers are going to go here, so I, I do need this here, you here. I'll also pull back the Hummel. Artillery is very fragile. Thus, they need to get out. But there are some areas where they just straight up can't yet. These guys at this moment are worth nothing. They, they can't hold that area. So I need them to move there. That don't help much. This makes uh, it a bit less problematic. These grenadiers will be here as the rear guard. And uh, I guess that is a break. I'm a bit surprised they call it elite. But. Oh well. Go 
here. Tricky part will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I do need to capture all of that too, so I actually need to make a quick dash to hold all those places too afterwards. But I guess I'm working on it. Bit surprised they are attacking, but not completely. Do hope to still get them out. <sighs> At least I can kill those planes pretty decent fashion. Attacking that is useless. Wow. It's a pretty aggressive attack, but uh, we got through this, so that's good. I mean, uh, shooting down enemy planes is what I do. That is certainly useful too. Um, let's get started with the evacuation efforts. These go away. All right, I got most of the fourth panzer army units out, so not not complaining. I guess. This is one of the few tough parts, but I'll take care of it. Do hope to kill them there, even though I'm taking a bit of damage with these Ostruppen. You flank that side, I can actually use these like, further away. And I don't need to worry that much. This is good too.
Just do that. So I've evacuated Lublin. And... I'll keep these Ostruppen there, actually. I don't need these guys uh, there at the moment. Let's get you back up to full strength. So I'm going to move them over to this side to potentially already start engaging enemy forces in that region. If I can. With uh, the rescue operation being a success. So. I need to very clearly look at my retreat plan because I don't want to be in a position where I'm wasting precious time and energy. All right, sweet. in here so this pulls them back and this is flum units keep them moving I will keep the Möbelwagen there because they can provide some AA fire. Let's put this pathogen here to cover those flanks. Now I'm going to start pulling back. Full strength. They need to start getting on the road. And I'll pull you there, that's okay. bit of a long caravan. I don't think I'll be able to defend that airfield. So... Game? Jeez. I think for the moment... Just do that. <clears throat> uh. There we go. Can use these guys in fighting off that invasion too, so they're not completely useless or anything. Okay, 
I'm gonna end the video here uh, for now. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time. Bye bye.